Here we're doing just a quick check-in on day five of our trial. And there is just, there's two things I just want to quickly point out that I'm observing. Uh, first thing is growth, as I've talked about already, is relatively slow. So there's, this isn't growing nearly at the same pace that the crop would in soil. And again, I might just be trying to figure out the method here. Uh, the crops look nice. I mean, these are actually great looking crops. They're just a little slow. It's a little cold uh, in the house right now, but there is some heat in here and I have been using heat mats and that generally works quite well for, for these crops. Now I actually have, that said, turned off the heat mat for the wheatgrass. And the reason being is you can see the pattern here where we've got good root growth on the outside, but in the middle of the tray, we're not seeing as good of root growth. And I'm going, I'm suspecting that's because of the heat mat. Now, wheatgrass is a, is a cool weather crop. It doesn't like a lot of heat. And so it seems that we did get some advantage uh, with the germination, but maybe not actually. Uh, so it could be uh, that it's, the wheatgrass is particularly sensitive to the heat mat because um, there is enough heat coming through, even though I suspected there wouldn't be. And because there's not a buffer between the seed and the heat, a bigger buffer, because usually there would be at least an inch of soil there. So basically the adjustment I've made is to turn off the heat mat for the wheatgrass. I am leaving that on with the sunflower uh, just during the day while the lights are on and not seeing any issues with that one. And we can take a look here. You can see when we uh, looked at this on uncovering, we didn't have any uh, roots coming out really. And now we do see that the roots are coming through the uh, drainage holes there. Now the 1020 tray has much fewer drainer holes than the paper pot tray, which has them very uniformly. So you can see the roots have a lot of, a lot of places they can go through. So in another trial, I should do the wheatgrass in the 1020 tray and the sunflower in the paper pot tray to get a sense of how they respond. Once again, you know, uh, each crop is going to grow a little differently in different mediums. So it is really important to trial each crop accordingly. A uh, quick note with uh, the sunflower is that this side did have slightly poorer germination. It is improving a little bit uh, and we can still see quite a, quite a few hauls on there. Uh, and I did water this once yesterday. So my observation is that the mat is drying out definitely quicker than the soil. Not so much that I need to worry, but probably enough that I definitely am watering every day and there might be some days where I do a morning and afternoon water. It looks like I'll probably give this one a water in mid to late afternoon. So trials are progressing well. The crop is looking nice, but is a little bit behind. We've taken the heat mat and turned it off for the wheatgrass and keeping it on for the sunflower. And now we're just going to watch for general growth. And, uh, you know, today will be a, a long day of, of, of being uncovered. So hope to see some good growth. So I'll probably do another check in later today just to see how we're looking. Do a little side profile there so we have something to compare to.